Oh, you hear a bat. That was, that was sucks. So, okay. Right now, I want to talk about fast food restaurant industry. Woo! I'm not in it, but I do have, you know, people that is in it. And, you know, like, my whole thing with this fast food restaurant I don't necessarily have a beef with them, or not even really all the workers, because, you know, you got some people who work in fast food, and, you know, they don't mind it because they know that's their way of living, that's their way of eating, that's what's bringing in their income, so they're not going to sit up there and do stupid things, like things that'll cause them to lose their job, or, you know what I'm saying, being spiteful and rude, because I, I cannot stand uh, anybody, just not even fast food, just dealing with people, period, like the customer service industry, like where you you have a nasty attitude, like if you don't like that job, quit, I mean, it's not even that hard, like, because, let me tell you something, granted, it's a difference between, you know, like a spoiled not like, and just a, you know, like a not like, but you humble, but not even spoiled, because like, for you to not like something, and then treat people like crap, that's basically saying like, you, you, you under the mentality like, never get fired and you know you running something and it all actually all you do is run your mouth you're giving yourself health problems because being angry and all of that that causes health problems and everything and you just make yourself look bad and you make that place that you work at look bad because then you got a person who will say i'll never eat at mcdonald's again because so and so served me that day with that nasty attitude or so and so did this like i'm not even gonna front you know that's happened with me a few times where like I honestly don't even eat at certain spots anymore because of nasty customer service representatives, I guess, that work there, and, you know, it's sad, but, you know what I'm saying, like, I understand everybody needs a job and everybody gotta eat, but if you really knew that and took that into consideration, then I'm thinking you will put your, your chip on your shoulder, you would throw that dirty ass sales chip in the garbage, because it's not doing anything but causing you pain in the long run and suffering and it's not what's up because you hurt the people around you, you hurt strangers, you hurt yourself the most and like I said you also hurt that business too because you make them look bad like I mean like I, I, I did a lot of traveling and not even enough let me not say that I did some traveling Look, let me not lie. I did some traveling, and with my traveling, like, you know, I eat, what the hell, I'm human, but, you know, I can't even say it's necessarily just one state that I can pinpoint that on with the nasty attitude thing, because that's a worldwide thing, like, when I was in Arizona, I had a bad conversation with the McDonald's, and the McDonald's bill was beautiful, I mean, oh my gosh, the McDonald's was so beautiful, but the person who served me that day was the opposite. It was the opposite, and to me, that that damaged my experience with that McDonald's because I promise you to this day, it stuck with me. Like, it wasn't even funny. Like, I had ordered the um, you know, the grilled chicken special sandwich thing. Okay, so I ordered one of those, and you know, like at that time, you know, I was a little prejudiced against mayonnaise. Like, I wanted mayonnaise, but not a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I asked for a little man, not even mayonnaise. Excuse me, ranch sauce, because I, like I said, I was prejudiced against the mayonnaise. So I put a ranch sauce, and when they gave it to me, first they gave it to me with like some mayonnaise in it, and it was like mad mayonnaise, and it was it was it just looked so nasty, and I was like, no, 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 it's not what I want. Can I get the uh, ranch dressing? So then they bring me back a sandwich with a burnt up inside of the bun. The damn chicken patty was cold, and then the damn cheese wasn't even melted, and they put like this much sauce in the middle of the bun. I'm like, no, this is not it. Keep putting some. So it just got to the point where I just had to ask for like a plain sandwich and get the dressing and do it myself. But, you know, like, it shouldn't even lead to that. Like, it really shouldn't even lead to that. And then it was like, this one time, me and McDonald's, you know, we got a lot of issues. And <laughs> I don't do McDonald's right now like that to this day, to be honest. Like, I was clinging on to them a little bit when they had that shamrock shake, but then they stopped that. And then the, the McDonald's on the beach kind of spoiled that experience for me because I had to get like eight shamrock shakes because everyone brought me back and it did not look like what I was looking for, so I had to get it back. 
and that's my thing. Like, you know, some people feel like I'm a bitch uh, or whatever, but, you know, but my thing is like this, like, if I'm paying my money, I want my food to be right. Like, if I'm paying you for a hot sandwich, you damn right I want a hot sandwich. And I want my sandwich fresh. I want my cheese melting. If I order some fries, yes, I want my cheese so hot that I'm like, <laughs> like, I, I want some hot, yes, give me them hot fries. Don't be giving me no stale ass cold fries that you had back there for two weeks in the damn under the light on the rack and you trying to pass it off to somebody. Because they did that to me one time, I think. It was, it was one of them times where, like, I used to stay over on Northeast 6th Avenue. And they had this um, McDonald's on one, it's still there too, on 167 in Northeast 2nd Ave. So after 12, they got this thing where like, you can't order anything but large with your food. So I'm like, whatever. So I got my little sandwich and my large fries. And that girl, she freaked that shit. First of all, it took like 20, 30 minutes to bring the food. So I knew for sure, for sure, all my food was going to be fresh. I'm like, okay, that's what the is up. You know, the little chicken sandwich, it was, it was fresh, the cheese was melted, it was hot, I am not, I, I got my sandwich plain that time, cause I, that's a whole nother child, I don't do sauces like that, because, I don't, yeah, but, um, and with the fries, like, when I got them, it was like the first, I don't know, the first six fries or so, they were fresh, and as I'm driving off eating the fresh fries, now I get to a spot that was like so old, it almost shit my tooth. So, I'm like, wow, you know what? And it was mad late. I'm like, fuck these fries. I just threw them out the window. But I know ever since that day, they didn't get another penny from me. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, how many other customers have they done this to? You know what I'm saying? And what if, God forbid, one day you serve a food inspector, some old dirty ass food? That's what I want to happen because places like that that still will continue to sell old dirty food need to be shut down like i don't give a damn how much money you make i don't and, and stop that discrimination stuff too because i'm noticing that too because there was one time where i was like when i ordered some fries right this girl tried to sell me some old stale fries and the people who order their food after me just so happen to be the same color as the person working the register i bet you they fries was fresh though because i saw the steam coming up out the bag why i couldn't get fries like that and then i still have to wait like another 10 minutes for my fries so, I didn't get what that was about, but anyway, yeah, stop doing that, because that's really not what's up with that whole freaking, oh, you got to be my color for me to treat you any kind of way. And it's, it's two nationalities that I've noticed do that heavy. I'm not going to blow them up like that or give any hints, get to get a, you know, I'm not going to put them on blast like that, but, you know, definitely, you know, get it together and my like this, like, Regardless of color, right is right, you know what I'm saying, on the wrong. So, you be a good person and, you know, they're not the same color as you, that don't mean you should treat them any less because they're different colors. Even though I just totally jumped off the subject, but it's still just, I don't know, it's, it's, this show is going to be very random. So, if you don't like it, guess what? Tune out, because I'm tuned in, and I'm tuned on. But anyway. So yeah, like I say, you know what I'm saying? Cut all the bullish, because it's, it's 2012, like in two weeks, it's going to be 2020. So I mean, like, we really need to get it together. And it's sad that with all the technology advancing, the people are not advancing. You know what I'm talking about? Like, we still on this set mindset, this caveman mindset. Like, how come technology can advance, but people can't? Mm. So that's going to be another episode. So with that said, I'm going to wrap this thing up and um, stay tuned.